Welcome to OMG Radio. I'm Jamie Palmer, digital business strategist and implementation coach. This show is for entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, influencers, small business owners, and outliers who want to create more impact, make more money, and grow their online business. If you want simple strategies and actionable steps to building your business, growing your following, and creating momentum that takes you closer to your dreams and a life of freedom without overwhelm, then tune in. This is OMG Radio. The 40% Rule with David Goggins. So I have recently finished the book Can't Hurt Me uh, by David Goggins. It's Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds. So one of my favorite quotes from the book is, it takes a lot to push yourself when you are all alone. And I love this quote because it it's so true. It's so easy to really push yourself to that next level when someone's watching you or you're under like the microscope or you're with a trainer or you've got your team, you know, watching you. But it's so hard to do that when you're you're alone and the only person that is going to know whether you finish that, you know, 10th or 12th rep or, you know, ran that extra mile or really pushed yourself to that next level is yourself. And this book is probably one of the most amazing books that I've read in a long time. And it has really, really stuck with me. And um, it's probably been one of the second most books that have stuck with me like, you know, last year, really, you are a badass at making money, or maybe that was 2017. But um, this book will, it will be on my desk. I'll, I'll listen to it multiple times. I'll read it multiple times, because there are so many takeaways in this book in regards to mindset and pushing yourself and really, like, determining that the, um, the mindset is, all like you are against yourself, right? Like you are your biggest competition. And he talks about in this book that most of us are living to only 40% of our potential. And this really resonated with me because I started thinking about the things that I do in business and I do in life and I do as a parent. And it really dawned on me that I was only living or am only living to, or have been in the past living to 40% of my potential. And that's from a mindset perspective. That's from a physical perspective. Like, and it really like, it's, it's been, (laughs) it's been stuck in my brain. And even, um, my husband who I often train with was like, we were at the gym the other day and he's like, yeah, you're really crushing it. Aren't you? And I'm like, you know, for me, it's a, I want to inspire people to be able to live a life of freedom and not be chained to their business and really like be able to be a present parent and enjoy their kids and check out at three to go pick them up and have the afternoons with them and not have to live in this crazy rat race society that we all pretend or we've created as the new normal. And I um I like this book so much because it really it, it tells an amazing story of this gentleman who has overcome odds after odds after odds and you know it it really like talent is completely totally overrated when it comes to most anything in life. And I think the thing is that I talked to you guys about this today and I bring this up is because I want to challenge you to start living outside of your 40%, right? Like I want you to be able to, you know, say I gave a hundred percent in my life, no matter what. And one of the things that he quote, and I quote him here is, um, 
the bottom line in life is in life is that it's one big mind game. The only person you are playing against is yourself. Stick with this process and soon what you thought was impossible will be something you do every day of your life. So I <laughs> I want to challenge you to really think about how you can start to give more than the 40%. And I want you to look at areas of your life that maybe are not your most favorite. <laughs> um, and I know for me, like one thing that I, I don't want to say I'm afraid to look at because I definitely look at it more and more and more, but like I know very well with great specificity, like the sales aspect of the money that's coming into the business. Um, but I also want to be better at understanding the amount of money that comes out of the business, right? Um, from a, what are our expenses perspective? Like I don't, pay I don't I don't want to say I don't pay attention to that but I don't pay as much I only give 40% of my effort there right and that's something that I know that I can give more of an effort there the same thing with like being a leader on the team I could definitely improve at being on a leader on the team same thing goes with my physical training like I can totally amp up my training and I think the biggest thing that it's so important to slow down and challenge yourself and really be present in each and every moment. And what I like about this book, and this is, I guess this is a total plug for the can't hurt me book, (laughs) but I think that the thing that I really want us to be mindful of here is that, you know, there are always like, I've made a commitment to myself this year that I am going to get be more than 80% or 90% consistent. And I know for me that requires me to give more than 40% of myself in all areas of my life because I do want to be consistent. And one of those things was for me was really like changing some habits around a like my bedtime routine and really making sure I get great sleep and just like these little tweaks and hones. And I share this with you because one of the things that I want to do is read more and I already have been reading more and I can see how my brain is shifting. I can see how my sleep is shifting and I can see how, you know, my relationships are shifting even at home because we've, we've had the TV has been off and we've all been, more interactive and having conversations with one another. And for me, you know, I had a very unplugged childhood. I was, I'm part of a, what they call a micro generation that's considered the Star Wars generation, right? I don't really, I'm not really a Gen Xer and I'm not really a millennial. I'm kind of right in between those two. And I share this because, you know, when I grew up, I had a little stream in my backyard and <laughs> we would go and we would literally play by the stream and be in the woods for hours. And I would enjoy that sense of wonder and exploring in the woods and like just enjoying that time outside unplugged. Like we had a computer in my house when I got a little bit older, I would say 10 or 12. We probably were one of the first people to have a computer just because that's what my dad was into. My dad was a computer programmer at the time, but I enjoyed a mostly unplugged childhood. But as I came of age as a teenager, you know, cell phones started to come out and all that sort of stuff. But for the most part, my childhood was very much unplugged. And I share this because, you know, that's something that's of a really important value to me as a mom, right? And as a parent to raising like two amazing human beings. And I know for me to be able to push through and live through more of that 40%, right? <laughs> and and really give more than 40% of myself as a mom and as an entrepreneur and as a leader and as, you know, a CEO of Outlier Marketing Group and as a wife and as, you know, to fight myself, like to be in the best shape of my life. Like, you know, I'm working with my trainer to create some really specific goals around, um, just being in shape and things that I, I can can physically do. Um, I'm going to have to push through through more than that, that 40% rule. And so this book has really like, it has been such a mindset changer for me. And I, like I said, I've been reading a lot. I've been reading a lot of parenting books. I've been reading a lot of books on 
mindset and growth and, you know, all of this sort of stuff. And (laughs) it's amazing to me how one book can have just like such a lasting impact. And this 40% rule, like I'm going to challenge myself to do that each and every day because I know that if every day I can give, you know, 45% and then 50% and then 60% in all areas of my life, not just the ones that I like to do, um, I'm going to live an extraordinary life. And that's ultimately what I want. And that's what I want for my clients and my listeners and the people who work for us. Like, I am so committed to making their lives easier. Like our done for you side, we've got so many incredible systems in place that are literally changing the lives of the entrepreneurs that we work with because we can take so much off of their plate and streamline it in a way that feels really good to them. And it's, that's not even anything that they have to think about. And I share this not because I'm pitching you or selling you or any of that sort of stuff, but for me, like if I can get more people to be able to have more freedom and have systems and streamline their social media and streamline their marketing and streamline their lead generation, then their lives are going to be able to have a bigger impact because they're going to be able to reach more people. And so I share this with you guys because I think it's just this really, um, I just feel so motivated and so, um, not changed by this book, but so empowered to take action. And, you know, if you haven't already, you know, I'll link it in the, in the podcast notes, a link to the book. So you, if you wanted to buy your own copy, you're welcome to, um, I would love to know if you do read it, like, what are your thoughts around it? I will preface this with saying there is a lot of, um, swearing in the book. So if you're easily offended by that, <laughs> um, I would not read it. However, um, if you can kind of get past the the language in that and see through the lessons and the 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 hum the, the power of human potential, I think that this is something that is going to be a game changer for you because I know for me when I read You Are a Badass at Making Money um, a couple of years ago, it had a total shift in my, my look at making money. And this book for me, this can't hurt me has now had a total shift in how much effort I'm actually putting into things. And so I challenge you to give more than 40% of yourself each and every day in all areas of your life and really focus on that and be more diligent and intentional with, your commitments and your actions. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, we have a brand speaking new, um, (laughs) we have a brand speaking new training on how to streamline your social media. Speaking of social media. Um, so head on over to omgamplify.com and grab that training. It's like phenomenal if I do say so myself, but literally it's changing the game for so many of our clients and people that we're working with. So head on over to to OMG Amplify and grab that free training on how to streamline your social media. And thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you all soon.